internet friends, welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. friends, Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative doing another interview today. And I think this is my fourth one today, but this is kind of fun meeting people from all over the world. I've met somebody from uh, Florida, someone from California, someone from Champaign, Illinois, and now we've got somebody from Arizona, I believe in his name. What the heck was his name again? I think it was Brad. Brad. Is that it? Brad Molnar <laughs> here with uh, Modern Health Coach. See, how did I forget Show your name? Arizona. I can't forget your name. I was only kidding. I didn't really forget your name. So we got a little bit of a delay because Brad's doing some really cool stuff down there as far as uh, off the grid type thing. So Brad, you uh, you married down there? Or what What's your deal? Yeah, well, out here you got to be married. There's just a lot of land and very few people. Uh, I met a lovely wife in Sedona a couple years ago and Soon after, we got some land up here and, and started pioneering the dream and uh, scaling down our monthly bills and owning and suppose a renting is a good thing and uh, getting out in nature and, and getting closer to the elements and being able to heal without going from box to box all stressed out. Got it. Me. So, so you got uh, pets? Taking con control of that beast. Yeah, we got two dogs. Uh, we got little baby pit wolves, more like pits than wolves. They howl, keep the coyote, coyotes away. And I got a cat, Tennessee, 16 years old. I moved all over the country. She's in the trailer and she's retired, but she's doing good. <laughs> she's modern health cat. So they're they're pit wolves. They're part and pit bull, part wolf. Part, yeah, mom, pit bull, dad, wolf is what the lady at the store told us. You know, they do howl and they do scare away coyotes that are howling here almost every night. Uh, it's pretty funny. And, and yeah, they're, they're pretty sweet. Nakasha and the, Akashi and Nikita sleeping on the futon there behind me. Well, if I was a coyote, and I don't think I would. They keep safe out here. They're all right. I was saying if I was a coyote, I don't think I would uh, <laughs> try, and, try and tangle with a part wolf, part pit bull. <laughs> yeah, well, it's the pack, man. Strength in numbers. These girls, Those coyotes, that sounds like a party out there. They're all yipping away at dawn. Uh, probably got to be at least 10 of them per, per oh. session. So um, that's all about the pack, you know. So what are you doing out there? I know she said so you're doing some st here. stuff in like uh, solar energy or something like that or uh, a sustainable energy. What are you doing out there? Well, we're living off grid, which is solar in a well and propane for heat. Uh, try to use some passive sun in here. Um, and, you know, my wife works from home and I, I work from home. So we commute, you know, uh, here on the land and um, just living a good life. You know, just uh, the new new American dream, if you ask me, without, you know, the land's a good price and you got an aquifer and trees. So that's a pretty good start. For uh, sure. For most of the land, you you know, swamp land in Florida or desert land in Arizona, it's, it's definitely not that. <laughs> so what are you doing so, for work? Do you call it, what do you call this work? What do you do? Work, work for me is uh, health products and services and information. Uh, Modern Health Coach is my company that I started over seven years ago. It's a website and it's product services information to make you feel better for a longer time for less money than you think. And probably a little more com commitment than you think. So uh, the putting together the information with the products and the protocol uh, is paramount and people need it today. You know, detox is not a luxury. The planet's sick, the people are sick and it's coming apart at the seams. So I've taken my science degree. I did environmental work for clean up the earth in 16 states and ground zero and got exposed myself. And then so uh, it kind of evolved into this through a sports injury, ice hockey, knee surgery, led to a hip surgery and led to modern health coach and 20 some thousand hours of research to solve my problems. Uh -huh. And now I don't want people to go through what I went through, uh, you know, cut you the corner and sh save you the time 
um, on how to overcome more than sports injuries. You're talking cancer and diabetes and arthritis and all these common ailments that are have basic undertones that are ignored or uh, buried in half truths. You know, so the the answers are out there. I had to turn over a lot of rocks to find them and helping others do the same pretty much. Yeah, the stuff you're talking about with like the earth so, healing and stuff. My wife does some of that. She's a shaman, so she does a lot of that kind of thing. And that is uh, part of the problem. I mean, some people that are more mainstream think that's a bunch of crazy stuff, but there are some some things that are happening in the, on this planet that um, does it, it ends up reflecting on us, and that's why there's so much dis-ease and stuff happening in the world. So you're selling products and services to help uh, people remedy that and get back into harmony, if you will? Yeah, balance is a fine line. And uh, there's a lot of things that can take you off on a physical, chemical, emotional, spiritual, environmental, social. Um, you know, you can get out of line. I, I've put together 30 manufacturers on my website, all from the United States, that are premier top shelf, I say. Um, and it's powders and essential oils and proteins and greens and teas. But it's also electromedicine and quantum energy technologies um, that work in between the lines of basic physics and quantum physics. So I have all the basics, atmospheric water generators that run on solar, uh, you know, great um, supplements that you're used to seeing, vitamin C and multis and mins and bites and enzymes, probiotics, hormonal digestion, these common ailments. But I also have an electro quantum twist to it with my kinesiology background, which is muscle test and energy balance, and then the power tools, I call them, and then the in between the lines with the quantum, which you saturate your field. There's my little doggy right there. Uh, you saturate the field with information, and there's information you want to increase, and the, the right frequencies and the frequencies you don't want that you want to help to negate. Got it. So the information uh, in your field can be influenced by a hologram. A hologram can store a lot of information, and we can embed codes that make you feel better or help negate things that don't make you feel better. Um, and information is key. And so that's a, a, a big seller of mine. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of ways. So I call it holistic shock and awe. It's not just a cup of green tea and you're going to feel good. You got to get, <laughs> you got to clean your space, make sure you're not getting exposed anymore. Make sure you're not putting shampoos and soaps and toothpaste that are going to knock you, knock your thyroid out or something and your hormones drinking out of plastics all, all the time. I mean, so I have an environmental background, so I know where the contaminations are, what the exposure routes and the concentrations can be, and what that can do to somebody. And then just the quick and dirty on how to fix it. Right, and, and these things auto ship and a whole. And and these things yeah, are right. a lot of um, small little things. Like I said, drinking out of plastic. Think, well, that's no big deal. You just drink it and it's gone. It's okay. But it's the accumulative of drinking out of plastic and being around uh, uh, electromagnetic frequencies and all those accumulative things that you got to kind of like uh, the interview I just did this morning with uh, Mary, uh, Mary Shores. She has a thing that you're either cleansing or clogged and you got to look at what, what is it, what's it doing with your life? Right. Are you clogging yourself up? Or are you cleaning yourself out? Well, true. And that's on a similar line. You're either making more than 50 million cells a second and growing younger, or you're making less than 50 million cells a second and aging. So you're either, you know, you're either feeling good or you're feeling bad. And that's the cleanse and clog. And that's true. And it's all comes into what you put in your mouth throughout the most part. But there's other, you know, tricks to it. There's a lot of tricks to it. But the main thing is what you eat. And even the food is, is tainted, weaponized, uh, tastes like not like it used to be. And it's getting worse. And they're passing bills that are making this more possible. And states not being allowed to ban GMOs and, and even label them. Uh, it's pretty scary. So go in the route that we're going with off the grid and growing your own food. It's the only way to know you're getting grade A stuff that, you know, because the word organic was bought by the government and it's probably 80% of what it once was. It's just a paper trail right. going out there doing residue wipes on a pepper to tell you it's organic. One's word for it. And it's all about money. So you yeah. can charge twice as much for an organic and you can't have a conventional, which is subsidized by Dow Chemical probably. Right. Spray crap on, you know, so... It's uh, it's one. The more you learn, the more hard it is to keep it all in control. But once you kind of hit the rim and bring it to center, it's 
it's a much better way to live not in fear because that's the thing you know and once you know you have the right information you don't have the fear you just live in love hopefully and that sets a tone for a whole different other yeah um, basically uh, knowing knowing your uncon- source of of stuff so that you don't uh because just reading a label and believing what's on the label doesn't necessarily really mean what's really happening, where it was really sourced from. So you're talking about kind of going back, maybe growing your own stuff in your own soil. In the yeah, that's the way it's going. I mean, it's all this globalization and and you know big food and pharma. It's just not helping the average Joe out. People are sick, fat, and broke. And and they're starting to learn. So now they're now their ears to the ground. They're starting to listen. So I'm kind of ahead of the curve with some other folks in my field. And health and energy, environment, it's all one big hodgepodge of life that makes your total score higher or lower if you want to think like that. Exactly. So it's like like you're saying, it's a it's all of that. And so then some before you can't I, even see or you know. Before I ask my final question, which is my favorite question, the big why question, could you share with how people can get a hold of you, like the website to your where your your online store and all that, and maybe you do some consulting and coaching and things of that sort? Sure. How do people get a hold of you? I do. You can go to modernhealthcoach.com. That's M-O-D-E-R-N healthcoach.com. And there's uh, email info at Modern Health Coach, BRAD at Modern Health Coach. You get a hold of me. I got a phone number on there. Call problems or concerns. I'm definitely an out of the box uh, problem solver that's not going to rely on one modality, but I can use all of them. I'm not bound by a certain uh, licensing. So uh, here to help. You can go to the website. It's a great start. Browse around. Check out the blog and the videos. I got a lot of self informative free information on there that you can soak up and use start there and then got any questions give me a holler well perfect well here's my favorite question that's the big why question why is it are you doing this and why aren't you like being an nhl hockey star or why aren't you like a surfing or something out in california or maybe a border patrol person or something like that why are you doing what you're doing well, because it led me to this, I did want to play in the NHL, and then I did have an ice hockey accident. And, um, you know, the road's always forward, but never straight ahead. And I had a great environmental career, great, uh, you know, sports life in my youth, and, and uh, fell on the ice one day, knee surgery, led to hip surgery, led to 20,000 hours of research, led to modernhealthcoach.com. I solved my problems. I had doctors telling me, you're going to need hip replacement. You're going to need this. Trust me. Trust me. Fired them all. Fired my chiropractors. Was in a car crash. Was totaled. I was a physical and chemical mess. I pulled myself out of it. I had willpower and some tears, but I got through it. And uh, I don't want to see you be sentenced by doctors saying that this is that and that's the way it is and just, you know, listen to me and die. So there's better ways. I put them together. Make them easy for you. I love what I do, helping people feel better for longer, for less. Um, the, the more you, the better you feel, the more you get done. Whatever you're here to do, you got to feel good to do it. So that's where I come in. Okay, well, that's uh, refreshing. Uh, I get 99.99% of everybody that's doing this stuff. It's to help other people. So, again, more hope for the planet and humanity. So, uh, Brad, I appreciate you taking the time. Yeah. And uh, I will uh, put this out to uh, YouTube and propagate it out to blogs and social media, and we'll get it out there. And if you do the same and collaborate, that would be wonderful. So thanks again for taking the time and being on Synergy Cafe. Thanks, Brad. Peace. Thanks, Brad. I appreciate your opportunity. Take care, all.